Well, if you're in the auto industry, you know all about SEMA. SEMA is an acronym for Specialty Equipment Market Association. And they have a big show every year in Las Vegas in every October where they show off all the new little trinkets, all the new little gadgets, all the new little things that you can do to make your car a little bit better than the other guy's car. Well, all the big boys play out there too with the small dealers and the big dealers. Everyone has a good time. Now, just to give you an idea, this is what Mopar is doing at the SEMA show this year. <laughs> So for 2018 SEMA show, we were able to uh, come up with a concept for Mopar that is uh, based off of a 1968 Dodge Charger, which we've affectionately called the Supercharger. It's a wide body version of that original car. And it just happens that uh, 2018 is the 50th anniversary of that car. So it's pretty special. The 68 Charger had was a standalone body design. It wasn't shared with any other brand at that time. It was something about that design at that time period that set the world on fire and took every everybody took notice. Fast forward to today, we were able to go in and keep the, I'll say, good bones of the actual body design itself, the double diamond uh, intersecting body design, and then upsize the wheels and tires, put flares on it, uh, put some aerodynamic aids on it, the splitter, the rear spoiler, clean up the DLO or the daylight opening with the removal of the uh, drip rail, the wing vent. There's so many details as we go through the car front to rear that we were able to modernize and, and uh, simplify, but still make it recognizable as a 68 Charger. It's got a 20 inch production wheel in the front uh, Devil's Rim from the Demon. On the rear, we upsized it. We used the same design, upsized it to a 21 inch wheel and tire. We pulled the front wheel forward two inches, so it went to 119 inches. Um, the rest of the proportions we kept the same. The, the traditional hideaway headlamps in the front, um, we replaced those. We did a full width grille uh, design with no cut lines, and then we took Challenger headlights with the the glowing DRL rings, uh, the whole assembly, we were able to package those into this uh, older car. Get to the rear end, we had some fun where the original 1968 had four round tail lamps. I kind of thought, what if those were exhaust? So we kind of rethought about how the tail lamp functions and repurposed some parts back there, but actually did a high mounted exhaust outlet which is kind of current in the world of supercars today to do high mounted exhaust above the bumper. And so this worked out perfectly. Once again, just like on the exterior, we used a lot of DNA and, and a, a lot of uh, parts that are on our current uh, uh, Dodge and SRT products and we were able to repurpose them creatively into this 1968 supercharger. I think we've preserved the integrity and the purity of that car, but modernized it in a way that they probably never imagined back then. Uh, but I think they would approve of what we've done. Mm -hmm.